We need to perform the following binary multiplications. We have three that we're given, and we're going to do them one at a time. So first, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, and this is being multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 1. So we'll write this out like this. Now, when we multiply binary numbers together, it's just like normal multiplication. So we're going to start with this 1 and multiply it out. We're going to be having a 1, 1, 0, 1. Then if we multiply everything by 0, we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we do this again, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we have the 1 again, so 1, 1, 0, 1. Now the addition is a little bit different than normal addition. If we have just a 1 right here, it's going to be a 1. If we have zeros, it's just going to be a 0. So this is OK so far. However, this is where it starts getting different. If we have two ones in the same column, when we add them together, it's going to give us a zero, but we're going to carry a one over. So this column is full of zeros until we look at this one. So this is going to be a one. So we'll have a one here. And then lastly, there's just a one in this column and then a one in the last column. So that is the binary equivalent if we multiply those two together. In part B, we have zero, one, zero, one, and this is being multiplied by one, zero, one, one and we're just going to multiply this out like normally. So we're gonna have zero, one, zero, one for the top two, and then we're gonna have zero, 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 and then again, zero, one, zero, one. Now, when we add these together, we are going to have a one on the far right. We're going to have a one here, and then we're gonna have one here. And that's because there's just one in each of these columns. Now in this column, we have two ones. So we're gonna have a zero, but we're going to carry a one here. We now only have one in this column, so we're gonna have one here, and then a one here, and lastly, a zero in front. So that is going to be our answer. For C, when we multiply these together, we're gonna to write it as one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, and this is being multiplied by zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero. And so this is going to be what we get. I didn't write out the last zero because it's a zero and it's just going to make everything zero. And that also shows the fact that um, for this specific line, unless we were specifically told to have this front zero, we don't need this front zero. So that's why I also didn't write the zero for this line down here. But when we're adding these together, we're going to start with a zero back here. We then have a one, and another one, and then another one. There's two ones in this column, so we're going to make this a zero. We're going to add a one here. There's two ones in this column now, so we're going to have a zero. We carry the one over here. We have two ones here, so it's going to be a zero and we carry the one, but we have this one up here. So we're gonna write this right here. We have two ones in this column, so we're gonna carry the one here. We again have this one right here, so we're gonna write it here. We have the one in this column, so we're gonna write this here, and then one, one. So that is going to be the multiplied binary form.